Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at a holiday buyer's guide, a Christmas buyer's guide, call it what you will, ladies and gentlemen, because it's just that time of year, ladies and gentlemen. It is just that time of year. So, with all of that born in mind, let's start off with a bunch of different categories. And I think the first category has got to be Christmas. What do you buy if you're feeling particularly Christmassy? The Pokemon TCG Advent Calendar. Now look, I know that by the time you're watching this, unless this video gets bumped for something else, it's the 7th of December. And that means that actually, yeah, it's not the beginning of Christmas anymore. And that means that you're not going to be able to do this on a day-by-day -day basis. Just do the first few days all at once and then catch up. You'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. You will be fine. And you get yourself, you know, there's six proper booster packs, six fun packs. Think of them like two-card sample packs. And, you know, the, the one's a sidekick dangler, a couple of stickers. You do get a cool Delibird and Ice Cube coin. But you also get yourself a set of eight promos stamped with a snowflake, including Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, which is very cool, Ice Cube V, which is very cool, and a Pikachu that cannot be found anywhere else. In English, this Pikachu exists only as a stamped promo that comes in this advent calendar. And honestly, whereas a lot of us were expecting that this might be awkward and might be difficult to find and sold out everywhere, it's not. And that makes it a very cool thing to buy. Even if you're buying this as a Christmas present to give to somebody at Christmas, you can save it till next December or you can just open it as a cool Christmas thing. But if you want a Christmas themed Pokemon TCG gift, this is it. This is the best. Now, I know there are a bunch of people out there that want to buy presents for maybe friends' kids or nieces, nephews, etc. Presents where you're not looking to spend a huge amount of money. And there are a couple of really good options for that. First of all, we've got V-Boxes. Now, V-Boxes, there are a bunch of them. I will say there is a Pikachu one that came out not that long ago, which is always a good shout. And nowadays, when you buy a V-Box, you get yourself a Pokemon V, hence the name, a jumbo version of that Pokemon V, and you get yourself four booster packs and an extra promo. It's cool, honestly. I like it. And they do tend to be kind of exclusive, so take Verizon and Asui and Electrode. Sure, the full arts of those can be found in sets, but these regular non-full art versions can only be found in this box. Same thing with the Pikachu. So these are always good shouts. The other things I would recommend quite highly are free pack blisters. Your V-Box is going to set you back $20. These are going to be like $13, I think. And you get yourself free booster packs and a holo promo. Now, you don't get a Pokemon V, admittedly. But you do still get yourself a holo promo. And there are a bunch of cool ones out there. So, yeah, highly recommended. The most recent set is Silver Tempest. You can get yourself either a Tegetic or a Manaphy. Might I suggest the Manaphy. But every main set that we have comes with these three pack blisters. So you can really go for whichever ones you want. I mean, if you want to go back to Brilliant Stars, they've actually got Okacheke Leafeon and Okacheke Glaceon. And firstly, Leafeon and Glaceon are great. And secondly, Okacheke is the best artist currently drawing for the Pokemon TCG. So, yeah. They would be my actual picks. I mean, the Umbreon Evolving Skies is cool, but you're probably not going to find that casually sitting on a shelf for $12, $13 because it's Evolving Skies and that set has rocketed in price. But certainly V-Box and free pack blisters, if you are buying a uh, little present on a budget, these are very good ones to go for. Now, if you want something which is really focused towards children, might I suggest the Collector Chest? These come out every few months. There are a bunch of them. The one I've got on the screen here is just the most recent of them. Doesn't make it the best. Just, it, it's the most recent one. It's the easiest one to show you right now. Uh, the one before that was this one with Arceus on the front as an example. But basically in here, you get free holo promos. You get yourself some booster packs. But then you get yourself things like sticker sheets and a notepad. 
and it comes in a, a proper like metal lunchbox. And my children, they're three and four at the moment. They, well, they're eight months, but he doesn't really know what's going on. Pokemon-wise, at least. He will, don't worry, he'll learn. But they love this. They adore these. I can't keep hold of these lunchboxes because every time I buy a collector's chest, they steal it from me. So the combination of having some packs to open, having some guaranteed promos, and then having things like stickers, notepad, and lunchbox. If you are buying specifically for kids and you want a Pokemon TCG present, which is really focused towards kids, this is definitely the best one to go for in my eyes. Now, if money is no object, if you are looking to buy a very cool product and you are willing to pay above the odds, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, it's a product we've talked about a lot on this channel because there's been an awful lot to say about it. But the fact of the matter is, if you want a really cool Pokemon TCG product and you don't mind spending a bit of money, this is the coolest one around. Now, it is worth pointing out this is $120. So when I say it's it's pretty expensive, I mean it. it is pretty expensive. You have been warned. But you get yourself free Charizard promos, your V, your V-Star, and your V-Max, which is awesome. And then you get yourself, I think, 16 booster packs, which is a lot of booster packs. And then you get yourself your Playmat and all that good stuff it really is a very very cool thing it is gonna set you back a few quid no argument there it is not cheap and i'm not gonna argue or pretend for a second that it is but if you are willing to spend the money yeah this is a very very cool thing indeed now, I know not everybody's comfortable buying Japanese cards, but if you are comfortable buying Japanese cards, I do have a pick for you that I feel very, very good about. And that is V-Star Universe. V-Star Universe has just come out over in Japan. It came out this past Friday. And you can pick up booster boxes of this on eBay, on Facebook, or from various third-party resellers online for about £100 or $100, which, yes, is over the odds. It should be like... $40 or like 32 quid but you're not finding it at that price over here and admittedly this is again more of a premium option this is something that is going to set you back a fair bit so you know I leave it up to you as to whether that's the kind of thing you're looking to do but this is I've described it on this channel multiple times as the best set ever but I'm sorry I stand by that. It's got those amazing art rare cards. With a box of 10 packs, you should be expecting free art rare cards. Some of which are amongst, you know, look at this uh, Suian Electrode. Or look at this Bieberel. And tell me they are not two of the coolest cards you've ever seen. You're probably lying to me if you say they're not. Or we've got these special art rares. Things like this Glaceon. Let's mention Glaceon again. Or supporter cards like this Irida. These are stupid. Stunning cards, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely stunning cards. It is a set I cannot recommend highly enough. Not to mention that in a box of 10 packs, not only are you getting free character rares and a character super rare, but you're also getting a secret rare, which may be an energy, to be fair. And you're getting yourself a radiant Pokemon. And you're also getting yourself a Pokemon V, V-Star, or V-Max in every single pack. 9 plus the special art rare. That is redonkulous, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely redonkulous. This is going to be a very cool set. I've got a couple of boxes in the post as we speak. This is... And when I want to talk to you about this, right? I'm being very honest with you. I tell you that the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection is amazing. I bought that. I tell you that V-Star Universe is amazing. I've got a couple of these coming along. I got the Christmas Advent Calendar when it was released back in September. Bit surreal. I opened it too early, but hey-ho. And, you know, I'm not buying the collector's chests, but they are things that my kids have loved. So I promise you, this is not me just throwing out random products. This is me telling you, hey, if I was in this position, this is what I would be buying. And I don't know much, I'll be honest with you but i do know the pokemon tcg that is like my one area of expertise i got a couple more so if you want to start playing casually battle academy every month or two one of my friends who's not into pokemon will send me a message and go wassy we i want my kid my kid wants to start playing pokemon what do i do 
What do I buy to get my kid playing the Pokemon training card game? And my answer is always exactly the same. Buy the Battle Academy. Now, there are two different versions of it. There's the one with Charizard on the front. And there is the one with Score Bunny on the front. Charizard is slightly older. Score Bunny is slightly newer. Doesn't actually matter which one you buy. I mean, it's slightly different, but if you're just getting into learning playing, it, it's much of a muchness. Basically, it comes with three decks that don't hit each other for weakness, so they're fairly balanced. And it comes with a board to play on and all the accessories you need. Basically, it is a Pokemon TCG reimagined as a board game. And they're all proper cards. And you can expand this into the quote-unquote proper Pokemon TCG if you want. But if you just want to play a few casual games of the Pokemon TCG, this is the perfect product to do so. And then as we move on from there, I do often get people saying, Hey, so my, my kids played the Battle Academy. We'd like some more decks. Any V Battle decks. They're all quite cheap. And, you know, the most recent ones have Deoxys and Zero Aura. But there are a whole bunch of other ones you can go for as well. And basically, these are more beginner level decks. They all have a Pokemon V in, hence the name V Battle Deck. And if you just want a bunch of other decks to expand the Battle Academy, go and buy random V Battle Decks. It will work beautifully. If, however, you want to start playing more seriously with tournament level decks, Pokemon have absolutely allowed for this. They have gone and made the League Battle Decks. And I know that every time I do this, I always say League Battle Decks. Yes, because they're basically perfect. They are so good, it almost hurts. The most recent one is a Mew v Max League Battle Deck, which is pretty much, I think it's about 75% the same as the Mew deck that came top eight at the World Championships. Before Mew, we had Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrex. These are good decks full of tournament staples that will get you playing the Pokemon TCG in a very, in, in a very much proper manner, so to speak, very, very quickly. And that's not to say that the Battle Academy won't do that. But that is to say that the Battle Academy is designed to have simpler decks with simpler strategies and play kind of slower games. Whereas V League Battle decks are designed to be, hey, this is a tournament level deck. Also, shout out to the Trainer's Toolkit. There are three of them. The most recent one is purple. You want the most recent one, it's purple. It basically comes with a few packs, but mostly it comes with... A bunch of staples that you're going to use to build decks. So if you're buying the League Battle Decks, do yourself a favour. Pick up the Trainer's Toolkit at the same time. Now, I generally like to end these videos on a Wossy pick. And my Wossy pick here is going to be the mini sets. The A sets over in Japan. I'm talking about free specifically. I'm talking about Battle Region. I'm talking about Dark Phantasma. And I am talking about Incandescent Arcana. All of these, they're basically their A-sets over in Japan. They have the character rares and such in. Basically, what you need to know about them is they've got really good pull rates. You always pull a bunch of really cool stuff in every pack. And now Incandescent Arcana less so, I will admit. But certainly Dark Phantasm and Battle Region you can generally find online fairly cheaply. Obviously, do be careful if you buy from eBay and places like that. But they're just really cool sets that have really good pull rates. And you can generally pick them up pretty cheap and you get lots of cool stuff in every box. I've completed all three of these sets. And honestly, if you buy one box, you can then complete it with singles. Honestly, pretty easily. So if you want a Wossy pick, that. Although, honestly, I'll be honest with you here. If you're going to be buying a box of this for like 65, 70 quid... You might be better off just rounding it up to 100 and getting V-Star Universe. Because seriously, V-Star Universe is awesome. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You should now be prepared. Whoever you're buying for, whether it's yourself or somebody else, whatever, wherever they fit into the Pokemon TCG, this should give you an idea of the kind of thing you should be looking for. So now it's over to you guys. Have you picked up any of these products? What do you think? What are you thinking of buying your Pokemon loving friends? And do you have any other suggestions that you think I should have added into this video? Let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk, well, about a whole bunch of stuff, Pokemon mostly. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel. 
get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and chat with us. Just generally have a lot of fun and get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Evan Parker, who's been a supporter of ours for a few months now and seems to be a very lovely person indeed. So thank you very much for the support and thank you for being a lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.